Do you think procrastination is stealing your joy? Do you think procrastination is stealing your dream? Do you even know what procrastination really means? Do you really want to know how to avoid procrastination so that you will start to achieve your dreams? Keep watching to know answers to this question. The key word for today says, you are either doing or you are not doing. There is no in between. When you have a dream and got ideas to put the dreams to work, what are you doing about the ideas? You are either procrastinating or doing all it takes to achieve your dreams. Don't sit down waiting for angels to appear physically to tell you the next step. The steps is given to you already. Just take action. Hello everyone. My name is Afalaka Janet Oyelami. Before I continue on today's topic, if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Click the like button and share my video so that I'll be able to impart more lives on this channel. What exactly is the meaning of procrastination before I proceed? According to Wikipedia, procrastination is the action of delaying something. This word originates from Latin word procrastinators, which means forward. To my own understanding, procrastination simply means ah, we do it tomorrow. What you need to do now, you keep on pushing it forward. I will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow will never end. When God was about to create man in his own image, he said, let us create man in our own image. Immediately God proclaimed that word, let us create. Immediately it got to work. He created man on the sixth day. God didn't say, oh, I'm tired today. I will do it tomorrow. He did it exactly the way he said he was going to do it. Copy God, your creator. Remove procrastination from your life. Procrastination still dreams procrastination is a dream killer let me just go straight to the point when you procrastinate this is what happened you clutter your brain with what needs to be done if you are somebody that study yourself very well when you need to do a particular thing and you keep on pushing it forward saying tomorrow i will do it Tomorrow, I will do it. Tomorrow came, you keep on pushing it forward. If you are somebody that study yourself very well, you will notice that even if you are at work, you want to sleep, you want to eat, your mind will keep on going to that thing you have not sorted out. That shows that you are cluttering your brain, your mind with what needs to be done instead of you doing it and forgetting it immediately when you clutter the brain with what needs to be done every single day pushing it forward procrastinating you will do it tomorrow you are stressing your mind you are stressing your brain and when you stress your brain most of the time dreams that need to be achieved in 2020 is pushed forward 2025. In order to avoid stress for your brain and for your mind, declutter what needs to be done now, immediately, so that you will have peace of mind to do other important things in life. You might be asking, okay, how can I overcome procrastination to achieve my dreams on time? Number one, 
do what you need to do immediately now do what needs to be done immediately now don't delay it till tomorrow number two do not procrastinate instead of procrastinating do it afraid if you have a big dream and you're questioning yourself oh how can i fulfill this how can i become a singer how can i become a musician how can i become an artist when no one knows about what how can i become a doctor where will i find money to do it do it afraid whatever you want to do in life and you are afraid to do it just do it afraid number three on how to overcome procrastination is to start small if you have a big dream i don't know which dream you are trying to achieve in this year 2020 in 2021 in the five years to come whatever dream you have in your mind never procrastinate never procrastinate start small i heard about a lesson that this woman started like 10 years ago she said she started the lesson in a sitting room and gradually gradually when she started to tell people about her lesson she started to teach children and children are learning more and they are growing and they are making and they are excelling in their in their school most people start to introduce other parents to the woman lesson and finally this woman left the sitting room and established a bigger lesson in like five places in london she started small in a sitting room she refused to procrastinate that a sitting room is too small she doesn't have money to go and rent house she refused to procrastinate she started in a sitting room the lesson arts branches in most part of london so what am i trying to say start small in conclusion do not allow procrastination to steal your joy and your dream be the boss of procrastination today refuse to push your dream forward to tomorrow refuse to push your dream forward to next year if you need to do it this year do it now start small and do it afraid i hope this impact you i hope this encourage you to run after your dreams speak to you soon